Hey everybody, I am touching base today because I'm traveling to a presentation and sometimes I like to do these uh, Facebook live videos when I'm on the road and uh, there's nothing else to do. Uh, I don't know if you saw the topic of the conversation, but I actually wanted to talk about something. I was filming a um, interview with John Bolares yesterday, which will be coming out for you guys next week. And I had done one uh, several years ago with him about you know, him building, uh, his company and so forth. And the one thing, one of the first things he says in the interview, which I, I don't know how much people agree with this or don't agree with it, but he was talking about visualization and how he would visualize where he wanted to be years ago. And, you know, even when the odds are against him or you or anybody, you're going to find or notice that a lot of like, especially you hear a lot with like athletes and stuff like that, that visualization, they visualize themselves in a certain moment. Um, it's a skill that I've kind of developed over my career that it is not magic. It is not hocus pocus. Um, the key to it that I have at least found to where it becomes like really accurate with delivering your you know, things into your life or as, as you probably, as you hear this in like Tony Robbins and so forth is when the actual, you know, you can visualize yourself as in feel in the moment of like what it feels like to be at the goal, at, at the destination. So let's say I want, I don't know, like I want a new car or I want something, whatever it is. If I can really see myself in that moment and I can constantly visualize that and then really make that my reality. I, you have a couple things in play, I think, that are pretty interesting. One that'll be, you guys, everybody's heard of like Oprah's Law of Attraction and so forth. Well, it sounds crazy, right? It sounds like you think something and then it just happens. Like there's like magnetism involved. Um, my answer is yes, in, in a way. There, there really is. Like you, um, one of my business partners, Chris Haddon, says you, you, you find what you wake up and think about in the morning. Like whatever you're looking for, you find. Whether it's something subconsciously you're looking for that you didn't know in a good way or a bad way. So what you kind of draw into yourself is really important. Um, my partner, my other partner, Ryan, is huge into practicing this and bringing things into his life. And I think from a tangible perspective, what kind of happens when you're constantly visualizing things uh, ends up becoming like there's, you start making decisions to bring those things into your life in general. So let's say I start visualizing that car, I'll start making subconscious and conscious decisions to do things to give me that car, whether it's like, you know, uh, take an extra job or sell an extra deal or whatever it is, I'm going to do things consciously in, tan in a tangible manner to go after that goal and that destination and stay focused on it. There's also though some unexplainable end, which is kind of where everybody looks at like the hocus pocus end of it or the Tony Robbins magical end of it. That seems unexplainable, which is when you really ask that we call it the universe, I guess, but it's a vibrational attraction to other items in the world. Um, that you really purely have to want and see yourself in that position, focus clearly, like as clearly as you possibly can. Um, that I tend to find is that was the second part. So the first part was like, okay, it made sense to me because I could go out and you know get things I wanted because I've made conscious decisions that would little decisions that add up to like one you know destination or goal. The thing that was hard to grasp, but after time and time again of doing it, um, is the intangible or the things that are just, you know, it feels like it's not real uh, or it's in a magic land. But if you focus your mind and it happens again and again, it reconfirms what you're focused on comes to reality. And some of it's conscious, some of it is definitely not. A lot of it is definitely not. And it'll draw things to you that are really focused on that destination. So when I did that interview yesterday with John Belaris, uh, it was interesting because it was the first thing he sat down and said. And I think some people do it more naturally than others. It's just what they do. I think you'll find a lot of like athletes that two things, like the, the really successful ones do it naturally. Um, they just do it, it's just what they do. They see themselves making a putt. They see themselves, you know, they feel themselves in the moment of making that, but they feel themselves in the moment of making that game winning, you know, touchdown throw, whatever it may be. You'll also find though that a lot of high level athletes tend to, um, get psychologists that will then try to get them into that mindset. So there's really something to it because you're talking people on many, many million dollar elite level uh, perspectives that are doing this technique, right? So it's not just for athletes. Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of being able to, to hone in and, and be capable of kind of just focusing your mind and feeling yourself in the moment of 
what you're trying to achieve. So John Belair's yesterday triggered it because that's the vision he saw. He saw it for himself when he became, you know, the most famous weatherman in Philadelphia by far. That was his passion. That was his drive and what he envisioned. And he saw himself do it um, in his current uh, profession with TCS uh, Black Label. So he just said it though very naturally. It wasn't like, it wasn't something that he thought was not natural or that maybe other people don't do. So if you're not doing this and you want to draw things into your life, you've got to get out of your own way and really look at what you do draw in because what you do draw in is truly what you wanted, whether you want to admit it or not. So if you had something negative subconsciously in the back of your head or you didn't believe something or you wanted to believe something, that will be drawn into you and you will get you will create that reality. Um, and the same is true if you truly do want something. You will find your you will find a way to it. So good luck, hopefully a little inspiration and understanding, but visualizing is a real skill that is not just magic. So uh, off to a presentation. See ya.